What's going on guys, Ziga Blaze here, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Black Ops 3 Specialist Guide series. In today's episode, we're going to be covering Profit. Now Profit's unlocked out of the gate at level 1, just as the other two characters are we've covered so far in the series. The specialist weapon for this character is the Tempest, which is an electric charge shot weapon. It's an instant kill on impact, and will chain its electricity to nearby enemies. One of the very first things I noticed with the Tempest is that it was very good at taking out small score streaks like UAVs and counter UAVs, which could negate the need for a anti-air weapon. This effectively will open up an extra point in your creator class slot if you're someone that likes to take out score streaks. The perk I would recommend for the Tempest is Overclock, because I found myself earning the Tempest very, very slowly. Even with Overclock, it took quite some time to earn the Tempest, and I only seemed to get it two to three times a game, at best. The Tempest is a very good weapon for players that like to play on objectives very hard. Because of its chaining abilities, it can be used to take out multiple enemies with a single shot. And when players cram onto an objective point, this makes for a perfect opportunity to do so. To increase your chances of chaining multiple kills together with a single shot of the Tempest, I would recommend using either stuns or flashbangs. The reason being is that stuns and flashes will disorient your opponents, leaving you to take better aim at large groups clumped together. I found myself able to chain together big kill streaks while using the Tempest and this technique. One tip that I would recommend while using this weapon is to take your time while firing it. The Tempest can be spammed and shot quickly, but if you take your time with your shots and use them effectively, you can earn multiple kills with using a small amount of ammo. The game modes that I found this weapon to work the best in were game modes where players were all clumped together on objectives like Hardpoint and Domination. However, if you want to go for large chain kills or you just want to try and enjoy this weapon and get used to it, I'd recommend Ground War as more players are at your disposal on the enemy team. Now Prophet's specialist ability is the glitch, which happens to be one of my personal favorites in the game out of all the specialist abilities. Glitch allows you to flash back to a previous position while keeping the same conditions that you currently had. What this means is your health and damage that you've taken so far in your life will not change due to the fact that you've glitched backwards. There are two perks that I found that worked very well with Glitch. The first being Overclock, which stacks amazingly with Glitch. Usually I wouldn't recommend Overclock, and I'd tell you to save your point for something else if you earn an ability fast. Glitch is one of the fastest earned abilities in the game, so when stacked with Overclock, Glitch is earned very, very quickly. Some games I would even find myself earning it four to five times. The second perk I would recommend for Glitch is Sixth Sense. Being able to see your enemies close to you on the minimap will allow for a quick reaction time and allow you to pop your Glitch ability to get out of situations. If you're a player that likes to rush around and use SMGs, I would recommend Glitch because it allows you to play very offensively and defensively while using the perk. I found myself able to be very aggressive and if the situation became too much to deal with and I knew that I was going to lose a gunfight, I could glitch out of a situation. However, I found that I was able to also outsmart many of my enemies by simply remembering where I had come from previously. If an enemy had started to shoot me in the back, I would simply run away from that enemy and then pop my glitch ability a second or two later, effectively ending up right behind the enemy player that had been shooting me previously. The first game mode that I really started to enjoy the effects of glitch was Free For All. Because in Free For All, you're your only teammate, I found the glitch ability to be very useful when it came to covering my own back. If I ended up in situations that were unfavorable, I would pop my glitch ability and be able to take out opponents. The other game mode that glitch worked very well in was Kill Confirm. Often in Kill Confirm, players find themselves dying if they start rushing for tags to gain points for their team. However, with the glitch ability, I found that I was able to rush in and collect the tags for my teammates and get out of the situation with my glitch before I died. After using Profit for quite some time in game, I found that his Tempest worked very well for playing objectively as well as getting large killstreaks. Being able to be more conservative with your shots of the Tempest will allow you to earn more kills with it. As for the glitch ability, I found that good reaction time means a lot more kills and a lot less deaths. If you're looking to improve your kill death ratio, I would highly recommend using glitch. My specialist rating for profit is a 30 out of 30. With 10 points going into objective play, because his Tempest weapon is very, very strong at defending objective points and can kill multiple enemies with a single shot if the enemies are clumped together. And the glitch ability is also very useful for your team and kill confirmed. With 10 points going into kill potential, because if you take your time with your shots and you're accurate, you will absolutely dominate the enemy team. And a 10 going into fun factor, because playing as Prophet was one of the most enjoyable times I've had playing as any specialist so far in this game. 
Chaining together a lot of kills with the Tempest with one shot is an awesome feeling. And being able to outsmart your opponents and get out of situations that are unfavorable to you with the glitch ability just makes for some great gameplay. If you guys haven't tried out Profit yet, I would recommend them to any new player. After using them for a few games, you'll start to get the hang of it and you'll become very effective with them. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap up episode 3. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, it helps me out a ton, and comment below on what you guys think of the series so far. Stick around next time where we're going to be covering the 4th specialist and the last one that you unlock right out of the gate, Battery. And as always, I'll see all of you beautiful faces tomorrow. Peace out guys.